Okay guys, welcome to another unboxing video. We have three boxes to go, bro. We got two big ones here, and they weren't light, carrying them down the stairs, almost busted my bicep. And we got one small one here, so of course we're gonna start off with the small one, go to the big one. Let's get in it. we got first bag this is a big one. Oh yeah I couldn't get Cardinals in for a little bit because they were out of season or whatever it was so I ended up getting a hundred of them and there you go it's probably more bags I don't know if that's a hundred in there it never it never looks as much as uh, what the actual number is with Cardinals for some reason Oh, these are albino uh, Sokola Fi. Um, these are cool. Lisa, I don't know if you like the albino look, but uh, the white in the tank looks awesome. I know you got white labs, but then you got the, the um, red eyes as well. So that's an always cool feature to have in an African cichlid tank to have some albinos in there. Get the creepy devil eyes. Get one more look at them there they all came in good no casualties there oh i got some quarries dave i don't know if you like these but uh kind of thought of you when i ordered quarries i know you're a big quarry guy so uh i brought in some quarries and i haven't had quarries for a little while you know what the pet shops might have them but i don't really know because i haven't been in there but uh you know, I guarantee my quality. I won't ever sell you a sick fish. Uh, if it's eating here, then it's going to be good in your tank as long as you take care of them. Oh, uh, yeah, what the hell are these? I forget the name, but um, something. Uh, I'll get the name later when I do the uh, them in the actual tank or whatever. But these guys are cool. The colors are going to come out nice, and it's a breeding colony in here. So when you buy them, I sell them as a pair. Okay, because you got to get some females in there to pop the colors of the males. But they are really, really nice. Um, I'm going to show you... Well, they'll probably you'll be all colored up in the tank. But as I do the video, I'm going to do... Um, as I do the voiceover, I'm going to do that. I'm going to show the uh, actual um, picture of it. That's the word I was looking for. Picture. Took me a long time. Okay, that's it for... Box number one, two bags of Africans, Corys, and some Cardinals. Okay, so let's get into box number two now. Box number two. <sighs> right away, obviously, lots of plants. It was getting kind of low. My good old customer, Dave, got picked at me real good. So I had to get some more plants in. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'll try to get through the fish. The plants you're gonna see later or when you're at the store. But I got lots here. I'm just gonna make some room so I can pull out the, uh, these came in real nice. Really nice. Okay, what do we got? Oh, these are um, these are filter feeding shrimp. Uh, I've never seen this species of shrimp before, so it's gonna be interesting. I haven't even done. I thought they were the filter feeding shrimp, but they're interesting. Uh, Tim, maybe you could help me out with this one. I thought they were gonna be the ones with the little paws or whatever. They look a ton like a mono shrimp, but they're a little bit different. So, I don't know. I'll have to find a tank for them. I'll have to figure them out. Whatever they are. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> okay, so. I have a really good customer of mine. Her name is Jamie. And you know we say that fish is therapeutic. Well, I'm trying to be therapeutic with her because she wanted to know what I was bringing in and I told her it was going to be a surprise because she just set up a central South American cichlid tank 
and uh, this is one of the kinds of fish that I brought in. These are Firemouth Cichlid Jamie. Don't know if you're interested. They're absolutely beautiful fish. They're not overly aggressive and uh, they get a really nice red mouth on them. Both the female and the male are beautiful. So there they are. That's for you. And uh, that would be a nice addition to your tank if you want them. But if not, it doesn't matter because I'm starting to bring in some Central South American stuff just because I just think they're a beautiful fish. And I think if people ever want to switch over and they want something that's a little bit bigger uh, outside of the community realm, then there's always that option. So what else we got? Oh, nice. Friggin' nice. Uh, Bicolor 500 uh, show mail. Beautiful peacock. That's for anybody setting up show mail tanks. Beautiful fish. Frig, when you pull them out of the bag, it just blows your mind. The vibrant, deep colors of those fish. Uh, what else we got? Oh, um, blue shrimp. I got a tank set up for them, uh, ready to go. So, blue Saqqara shrimp. These guys are pretty nice. So, anybody looking for some blue shrimp? I got these now instead of the uh, cherry. So, we'll see how those work out. They're a nice color. Uh, oh, yeah, Inica stonefish. It's another South American fish, Jamie. Look them up. There's the name. Uh, they are not a huge fish. They get about four inches. Another good fish to have. Not overly aggressive either. But any cichlid is going to be a little bit more aggressive when they're breeding and they're defending their nests, right? Oh, cardinal plants. Uh, Dave, I think you wanted some. I'm going to save two for you. Um, these guys are really nice. They got some purple on them. Tim Holden bought some and he really likes them. So I'm excited to see in his tank when they Yep. Sorry that that video kind of got cut off there. Whenever somebody calls me, the video gets cut off. Back, we're back in action though. More plants, lots of plants. I got quite a bit of Anubias in. Clear some of this out of the way. They all came in looking spectacular. Gotta love having plants. Anubias pitinana. Okay, lots of plants. Uh, all right. Wait. Okay. Um, living stone eye. I just love the way these guys look. They're cool when they're small too. Um, I wouldn't necessarily. Sorry, guys, got cut off again. Um, here's the uh, living stone eye. Um, what was I saying? Uh, they get fairly large, so they're good in like a big uh, show tank or whatever. Um, they'd be fine if they're smaller. You just might have to get a bigger tank uh, later on or something like that. These guys in the wild, they actually lay on their side and act like a stone. I don't know how evolution made it so that they adapted that ability to be able to just lay on their side, wait for a fish to come by, and then they attack it. Watch videos on them, and it's phenomenal. And the males get a nice blue sheen to them. Got some more yellow labs. This is always uh, like a must-have when you start an African tank. This is beautiful yellow. Uh, coolie loaches. Been waiting for these guys for a long time. I just like them. They're creepy, weird, but they also look really cool because they got that zebra kind of patteration on them. Um, really good to get in all of the nooks and crannies, really good scavenger, fast eater, you name it. And these ones, there's like just the plain brown ones that you can get, but these ones are, uh, just a lot cooler looking. Another gorgeous bicolor male, had to get two of course. Uh, oh, um, some more Melanochromis. Get run out of room here. Frig. Let's put some in here. More Melanochromis. Uh, Africans. Got to keep the African tanks full. Another Bicolor 500. I think I only ordered two, but I think he gave me some extras for credit or something like that. <sighs> Wait till you see those in the tank. What else have we got? Let's pull it up. I gotta be conscious of when I. 
Oh, Demacia, Demace and I. Oh, these came in a good size. That's perfect. They hate each other, so I gotta get them into the tank as soon as possible because they like kicking each other's butt all the time. Those are really cool. Lisa brought in some extra for you. I think I ordered 20 of them. Oh, nice. He had some. Frig. These are more expensive beta, but I don't care. I'm not going to carry... This is a different store than the pet shops. I'm not going to carry uh, cheaper uh, betas. Uh, you know, the pet store has stuff. Good stuff. They can... Some, some good stuff. If you want to get fish that are a little less expensive, then you could definitely go there. But these koi baiters are absolutely amazing. I'm going to put these in one of my tanks. And uh, people want a really nice beta. You can even put that in your community tank. They'd be fine in there. Because I'm putting them in my tanks. I don't have any special jar for them. But these koi bitters are absolutely amazing. Gorgeous fish. I was really happy he got at least one. I want to start carrying these fancier betas now. Hundy and red points. Just small guys. I think he gave me a lot of extras. I only wanted six, but gave me a bunch more. That's cool. I'll take them. Um, what else we got? Another koi beta. Frig, look at that. Friggin' gorgeous. No issues putting these in your community tank, guys. As long as you don't have, like, any fin-nipping fish or fish that'll out-compete them or anything. If you got kind of a relaxed tank, then they're totally fine. People think that, oh, you could put betas in there. They're only aggressive with each other. Other fish, they're fine. You can put them with tetras and everything else. <clears throat> and another one. So he did have the amount that I wanted. Beautiful fish. Different. Different kind of uh, beta. But they're, like I said, they're more expensive, more fancy. But that's fine. Get what you pay for. And uh, you can get them with the beta kits that I have. That would look amazing. Just one little koi beta in the beta kits. I still have some left, guys, if you ever want some. Okay, so that's it for that box. I'm going to get into the next box. And uh, I won't, I won't uh, hold back on it. Hey guys, last box. box. Um, just real quick. Lots of drip acclimation going on. Got the shrimp drip acclimating over there, the quarries, all my Africans, I drip acclimate them all because of the low pH in the um, bags, and then you put them in high alkalinity water, it burns the shit out of their gills, so that's why I do that. Okay, of course, more plants. Plants are in each bag, it seems like. Got some nice plants. Hold on. Gotta open this up again. There we go. Okay, okay. Just clear out the plants here. A lot of the plants. Oh. And then underneath is a surprise. It's called fish. These are nice. Got some few different plants too. A few different kinds of plants. A few different colors. Always bringing the swords. Everybody always wants swords. Um, here we go. Some stem plants if people are looking for some color. More plants. Sorry. Let me get through these plants as quick as I can. We'll show you that after. Oh, um, albino brishinos. Something a little different than what I have currently. What are these? O L. Oh, you guys are going to be blown away by this guy. L114. Um, fancy Pleco. I got quite a bit of, I forgot about that. I ordered quite a bit of Fancy Plecos. That guy's real nice. Oh, this is, um, what's it called? Uh, I don't even know. Can't even read that. But it's um, another fancy pleco, I think, of some sort. Maybe butterfly pleco, I'm not sure. I always got to look after. Oh yeah, Reuben Red. If anybody looking for some red with their African tanks. Another nice show mail. L202. Another fancy, fancy pleco. 
L239. Different looking Plucko. You guys are going to love him. I'll put pictures and get them close in the video when they're in the tank. You'll see them all better. This is just getting them out of the box. Another L202. They kind of look like a Colombian Zebra Plucko, but not even close to the same price. Another Ruben Red. Show mail. Looking for some more color. L147 Bullfrog. Plucko. Uh, what else we got? L106. Another fancy Plecko. And an L52. Oh no, this is the Butterfly Plecko. Wow, lots of Plecos. It's a lot of Plecos to be in that little tank. I'm going to have to spread them out a little bit. Okay, so that's it there. And then we got some stability and stuff in here. Some more plants. I needed some more stability, so brought it in. Sorry guys, I'm only a one-man show here. Eventually I have to buy a tripod so that I can uh, have two hands here to do the videos so I'm not shaking all over the place. Or not a tripod or whatever, something to hold my phone. I'm actually probably going to go shopping for that today if I have the chance. Sorry, just pulling out old plants, cardinal plants. There's a ton of plants here, like a ton. But I'll start pulling everything out. Anybody want more plants with their tank? Kobu, another show mail. Freaking beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Probably, probably the rest of these are going to be mostly show males. Red top Lawanda. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. All Africans are beautiful. Well, it's up to the females, but you need females to make beautiful males, right? Another red top Lawanda. Another Kobu. So I wonder where all my show mails went. Figured they would be in the last box. Another red Reuben. Beautiful fish. Alyssa and uh, Chris, I think you guys wanted some some of these guys, but the one guy was sold. So come grab them if you want them. Oh, sunshine! Look at the blue. This one's amazing. Needed some sunshine. I have some. Getting lots of sunshine. We got a sunshine peacock. <clears throat> Another sunshine. A bit of a different kind of a yellow with some blue on them. And what's the final bag here? Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, these are... No, maybe these ones are the ones. Sorry, these are L10199. These look like the Colombian Zebra the uh, true Colombian zebra pecos, but not even as, as expensive. I think they're like 40 bucks as opposed to like 200 or whatever. Um, these look even more like the other zebras that I had. Their uh, patteration is more distinct and it pops out a lot more. Okay, anyways, so I'm going to get all these guys in the tanks. It's going to take me a little while and then get the plants in there. And then tomorrow, the next day, which uh, this video should be up by Friday, uh, if it's Friday today or Saturday morning, and um, put it out on YouTube and put it on my channel. Like and subscribe to my channel, guys, if you think of it. Um, that would be much appreciated. It help me grow my channel, and then I can make more content and everything like that if I get into, like, ponds and all this other stuff. Um, but anyways, uh, we'll chit-chat more uh, later on uh, when I get all the fish in the tanks. Okay, so we'll go from there. Let me get to work. Okay guys, fish have been settling in the tank for a day now, so some of them are still a little nervous, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we're going to start with the 8 foot section here, and then we'll keep going through. I got a hundred Cardinal Tetras in, I was waiting, okay, these guys I'm really excited about. I'll be honest with you, they are a $30 betta, but they are koi bettas, and man are they spectacular. You know, if um, people want 
you know less expensive betas then that's fine they can go to um, the uh, then they can go to the pet stores and stuff and that's totally okay look at this guy I've got three of them in you can put these in your community tanks no problem they're fine um, and uh, you know if you want to come here it's a specialty store right so it's going to be a little bit different I'm going to bring fancier stuff in and some of it's just going to be a little bit more but that's okay um, I thoroughly enjoy them. I've always wanted to get my hands on these guys. So, uh, and then we got another one in there. Looks nice. Uh, we got some Corys, Cory Doris, Lou Clomalus, I think that's the name. It's got about 10 or 12 of those. They're doing really well, actually. doing really good going up and down um, last time I can only get a few in but I was able to get a big bunch of them two of these are sold to Dave but I got the cardinal plants in here they didn't last very long so first come first serve whoever wants to get here first on Saturday takes them but two of them are already spoken for um, they got some nice purple in them so those look wicked cool when you put in your tank and then we got some stem plants with some nice purple on them. They sold right away last time as well. Some more stem plants with some nice green on it. Uh, and this tank, can't really see, uh, well maybe you could see a little bit there. There's a blue Saqqara shrimp, fire Saqqara shrimp. So I got about 12 of those. So Carrie, if you want blue instead of uh, red, I got 12 here, I'll sell them all for you for a good deal. Uh, so I had this tank all set up for a bunch of shrimp, but I can only get a few few in. That's all that's in there right now, because I don't want anything else to eat them. Uh, I gonna, when you guys come here, always make sure you come and look at this tank too for plants and stuff, eh? So here we've got some uh, mini dwarf hair grass. We got some more Monte Carlo, and then we got some micro swords. Some other the names on these things are turned on the other side. There's the other Cory Beta. It's a really nice one. I'm probably gonna end up putting them in jars so I can display them better in my uh, things. And you could get these guys and the aquaponics. I'm trying to get rid of those. Um, kits that I have so they still sell for the same price even though that this uh, beta is $29.99 beta but uh, Crypto Cream Parva down there and anyways I think that's pretty much the new stuff that I brought in we got one Grammy left in there if everybody, anybody wants them just letting you know uh, I think that's it that was new that was brought in on this side Uh, the Africans that I got in. So these guys are really awesome. I s oh, scaring them a little bit. Um, these Labrachromis, species of Labrachromis. That's the male. Jeez. Chill out, guys. And then there's the albino um, Succolophi is the name. So if you get these guys, I would get one male, two females. If you want to be able to uh, pop their colors out. A little bit more and then we got some more melon aquamus of these guys that came in that was the three different species that I brought in for this tank but these albinos are really cool those red eyes and the white color is just just is a, always a good extra color to put in your tank um, here we have I got a bunch of demasoni As you saw when I was unbagging everything, got a good chunk of those. I yeah, brought some more yellow labs in, and I got some Livingstone Eye. I was getting a little bit low on those. I always like those. They're always really cool. Uh, okay, so I absolutely love these fish, but they're still very terrified. Um, so they're just taking a bit of time. They're eating and everything, which is good, but they're still... I don't know if I can show you back there, uh, if the camera can focus, probably not. These are firemouth cichlids, 
they're not overly aggressive they're good for your so i'm starting to bring in a bit of south american central american cichlids um, not the stuff that gets obviously massive and big tank busters or anything like that but and then i got a good chunk of hunter and red points but i'm just waiting for them to this guy's got some nice red on his tail i'm just waiting for them to settle down and then once they do then the red's going to come out on their face a little bit more but uh they have to realize that I'm their friend that feeds them. I'm not here to eat them. Fish are friends, not food, right? Uh, Inuka stonefish, another, I think, Central American or South American, whatever. Um, they only get about four inches, and they get a real nice color on them. There's the picture. They just get a nice sort of shim. They're beautiful fish, really beautiful fish. I might put them in with my angels, I'm not sure, just to get them to pop out a little bit more, but they're a good addition to any South American tank or community tank with bigger fish, like, you know, they'll do fine with like Rosaline Sharks or like Bleeding Heart Tetras. Maybe did nothing like super tiny, even maybe like really large Cardinals, they'd be okay. Uh, this is gonna be hard to show, but I've got the Cooley Loaches, the striped, oh, there's one. There's about 20 in there, and what's super funny is they all cra cram in there like a clown car. And uh, when I feed them, it's just like these little serpents that are just like psss, all coming out. So I brought those in. I haven't seen them on the list for a long time, and I've been wanting them for a long time. So they're all kind of just wedged into the rocks or whatever. So like you saw in the video, I got tons of really, really, really nice plecos. So at the end of this video, I'm going to um, add all of the uh, images of each pleco that I brought in. It's gonna just go in sequence, along maybe with some other fish that uh, you can see very well through the video. But there's that, this is a blue panic, I think, or something, blue, yeah, panic pleco. Like just a crazy cool, if he's in the right position, his fins just like shine in blue. There they are. Um, I've got, Another big butterfly pleco is in there now. Um, I got these yellow Colombian zebra plecos, which look almost like the zebra plecos, but way less. Instead of 200 bucks, they're 40, they're 50 bucks instead of 200, but they look almost identical. Um, there's an orange seam pleco right there. There's a super nice pleco here. I want to show you if I can find them. I think it's the leopard cactus pleco. And that's probably my favorite pleco in this tank right now. There's, oh, that's, um, I forget the name of that one. That's uh, the one in the back corner there. Come here. There we go. That's a Pechacoliae. Linicola, whatever. I don't know. Just come read the name. <laughs> I gotta get better at saying the names. Um, and then, where's that uh, cactus pleco? I have to show you him. Oh, there he is. He's so cool. Look at this guy. And he's got an orange tail to him. There you go. Bam! Bam! Anyways, I'll show you pictures of that all at the end of the video, but... There's a lot of the plecos. I brought in quite a bit of fancy stuff because I love my plecos and obviously other people do because I could barely keep them in the store. Uh, so I think that's it for the plecos. And I got a lot of some more Nubius in here. Anybody that were looking for bigger Nubius, um, I got some bigger ones there in the back. So we're looking for some bigger stuff. Okay, that's always a popular plant. And just some random, mostly like swords, some dwarf Sagittaria, and some giant hair grass, and I got some different, these swords are really nice in the back. And whatever else, and some cryptocarine in there. So yeah. And then you saw the plants on the other side. 
And then the one thing that I'm missing in the video is the show mails here that I brought in. They're all underneath the tank. They're all still a little scared. Um, there's the red top Lawanda, some red Rubens, some uh, sunshines are in there. Sunshine Beacocks. But they're ter- oh jeez. See, they're splashing all over. I don't want to stress them out too much. They're still settling in. They're still trying to figure out who their new dad is for now until somebody else comes and get them. But anyways, they're looking really good. I got the blue light off because it just screws up the camera like crazy. So some real nice colors in there too. And the, uh, I'm trying to get the, there, there he is. Anyways, uh, come here, see, if you see him in real life, you're going to see the colors always a lot better. And then there's the other show mail tank. And I think that's it. As far as I can remember. Yeah, that's it. So at the end of the video, like I said, I'm going to put the plecos on there or any other pictures. And, uh, that's all. Open Saturday, 12 to 5. First come, first serve with whoever wants to grab whatever. Okay, we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.